Hey guys, welcome to another video from Kid Lawn Care. I, I am Justin. <clears throat> well, I'm still doing a, a very terrible job of trying to produce a video once a week, but uh, I just got back from doing Mona City Block. That's right, the entire block. And uh, I wanted to share something that uh, I think would benefit a lot of people to know about, and uh, that is deck pitch. Now, what is deck pitch? It is the mower deck that's on your mower uh, typically is, is hung by chains uh, sometimes it's held by you know solid struts with uh, you know, adjustable cams either way 90% of the time there's always a way to adjust this now a lot of of course you know listen to your manufacturers if they tell you to do something do it um, in my case I don't really find that what, what they recommend really does any benefit to me uh, in fact, I don't really understand why they do it, but, you know, whatever, they're engineers. For all I know, I'm not going to get into it. But anyway, so what deck pitch, deck pitch is, is picture this is the side of your mower deck. Now, if it's level like this, uh, there's a couple of things that this is going to cause. One is grass may or may not disperse as easily out of the deck if it is pitched backwards a little bit. And what I mean is if it's going forward, it's like that. Now, you're kind of thinking to yourself, it's kind of goofy. Why would anybody want to do that? And you don't really need a whole lot of pitch to a deck. Uh, usually a quarter to three-eighths of an inch. And there's a, a lot of benefits to this. Like I said, it, it disperses grass easier because, you know, as it's beveled like this just a little bit, there's a chance that grass can get kicked out the back. So it's not all trying to go through that one little hole in the side. Uh, second is that as you're coming and cutting the grass, uh, picture a, a helicopter rotor so whereas if it's coming straight across like this it hits the grass blade and cuts it well the grass is obviously going to pull back up due to the wings of the blade so if it pulls back up there's a very good chance for next level that the blade could hit it again and again and again and again and that will tear the top of the blade and uh, you know, open it to infection um, you know it, it'll tear up the grass blade itself uh, and over time you'll start seeing white tips and, and I don't mean just very tiny white tips I mean it'll look like a you know like a quarter of an inch of the top of the grass blade is this whitish brownish hairy stuff and that's where the grass blade is being dyed so if you you know pitch the deck just the slightest bit as you're going across it's only going to hit that grass blade one time nice and quick you're going to pass over it and it's going to pull it straight back up, but it won't cut it again. Uh, another thing it does is that uh, it keeps the deck from clogging up is, is bad. And, you know, again, this is partially because it's kicking some of it out the back. But uh, being pitched like that, it's not going to grab whatever it just cut that's on the ground. It's not going to suck it back up and, and try to shoot it out again. Uh, you know, there, there's a greater chance that as you pass over it, it won't draw as much stuff back into the deck and shoot it back out. So uh, th there's a couple of reasons to, uh, to you know, pitch the deck. And of course, another benefit of this is that it will actually add to lawn stripes. Uh, that's, you know, what lawn stripes are is, uh, you see them on baseball fields and stuff like that, the white and, and dark, or the lighter colored grass and the darker colored grass lines, those are what's called stripes. So it's just really just the way that the sunlight hits it and the way that the blade's bending. So. You know, as it's passing over the back of the, the mower deck 90% of the time at least on a commercial deck will create the vacuum it's not really a vacuum but I, I suppose it's a differential of pressure so by definition it's a vacuum however it's really just air passing from one area to another so that, that's what draws the grass blade up the front of the deck uh, most of the time is it's like a half an inch to a quarter of an inch more open than the rear. So, like on, uh, for instance, my uh, my Snap-on, or Snapper Pro uh, deck, the ICD deck, if you look underneath it, the, the lip, it's almost like this. You know, picture this, the back of the deck, this is the front, so it's nice and open, so it can cut more grass. Uh, different kind of scenario when I ever had Scorpion. Uh, everything is flat, however, the front of it has no baffles, it's all open, so that this is really just deck design, but that helps throw grass out like crazy because there's nothing to slow it down. But anyway, 
Uh, you know, if you got a chance, take a look at your mower, take a ruler, and you want to measure from the tip of the blade, not the deck. And the reason for this is because the deck may actually be sloped. So, you know, if you measure it, it's going to look like the front of it's already a quarter of an inch higher. Well, it's not. This is just because that's how the deck is designed. The blade itself is still flat. So you want to take a ruler or, or tape measure or something and turn the blade end to end, measure from this side, measure from this side, and then adjust what you need to get the deck pitched correctly. And uh, it, it'll probably help your lawn. So anyway, uh, you know, thanks for listening. Uh, try this tip out. If, it's, you know, if you like it, cool. If you don't, then uh, whatever. But uh, you know, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll do my best to try and make a video once a week. But uh, I've been slammed with work right now, so I'm gonna get off here. I've got grass all over me, and uh, I'm almost home, so I can't wait to take a shower.